Hi guys, this week on Let's Find Out About It, we're gonna learn about weights and measurements. Let's get started. We're gonna be looking at Peter's chair again, which I think you guys might have read in another YouTube video. We're gonna look at that part specifically when Peter's trying to sit in his chair from when he was a baby, his baby chair. See, look, this is him deciding he wants to sit in the chair. But then he actually goes to do it and he says, but he couldn't fit in the chair. He was too big. Look, it's too small for him. So you see furniture like this, this is baby sized furniture because babies are smaller, they need smaller furniture. Versus Peter, Peter's now a bigger kid and he's not gonna fit in this chair just like you probably wouldn't fit in your crib when you slept in as a baby or you wouldn't fit in the clothes that you were in as a baby and then when you get older, you're not gonna fit in those clothes that you're in now. What happens is as babies grow into children and children grow into adults, they get bigger. And because they get bigger, everything around them needs to get bigger so that they can use them. For example, the chair. So today we're gonna learn about how babies grow and how we measure them as they grow. So you'll see in the picture behind me that there's a newborn baby. But what is the baby on? So the baby is on a something called a scale. Now, what happens when a baby's born, usually the doctors at the doctor's office want to measure the baby to see how it's doing and to use it, use it to see how the baby grows. Just like when you go to the doctor's office for your appointment, you also get measured. And so right now on the scale, they're using it to measure the baby's weight, how heavy and how much the baby weighs. And usually they'll measure it in pounds in the United States. Because this is like a very small, a very newborn baby, they're using a special scale that they wouldn't normally use for someone your age or my age or your parents' age. They use this kind of special scale in which the baby's laying down because the baby can't stand up because it's so small and they want to make sure that the baby is comfortable as possible and doesn't have to move around as much without everyone touching it. So they use this scale that has, is a pan with sides on it, as you can see in the picture, so that the baby is safe while it's being weighed and while they're measuring it. But as you know, when you go to the doctor's office, there's different types of scales. You don't use this baby scale. Sometimes you use a scale that looks more like this. This stand-up scale where you go stand on it and you get weighed by that. Other times, when you're at home, maybe you have your own scale that looks more like this. Those are all the same. They're all scales that show how much you weigh. So they measure your weight in pounds. Weight is something that helps doctors see how healthy you are, how you're growing, and all of those good things. So you use, they're used in the doctor's office and they're used at home to measure yourself. Both of these scales are different than the baby scale we saw on the previous slide because on these scales you stand on them, you get onto them, and then you're told how much you're weighing. You don't have to lay down because you can stand up unlike a baby. Here we have some other scales. We have a scale that maybe can be seen very often in a grocery store that's used to weigh how much of a certain fruit or vegetable or herb you're buying because sometimes fruits and vegetables are sold by the pound by how much they weigh. Another type of scale is the science scale, which is used to measure very precise, very exact, uh, certain uh, measurements for very important things for scientists. And this other scale here is kind of, it's not used too much anymore, but it's kind of like a balancing scale. So oftentimes, back way back when, people would use this scale to balance things, to see how much of one thing equaled the weight of another thing. So they would put something on one hand and they would put another thing on the other hand. So maybe they took three stones and three stones equaled one big pretty diamond or something like that. And they would use it to weigh and see how much things equal. So there's lots of different ways to use scales and there's lots of different scales out there. But the bottom line is, is that scales measure weight. 
So now we're gonna play some fun estimation or guessing games. When you make an estimate about something or a prediction, you're guessing what something's going to be like. So in these cases, we're gonna be guessing and estimating the weight of different things or how heavy or light certain things are. Are you ready? Let's go! In this first game, you're gonna help me estimate or guess the weight of different objects around my house. Are you ready? Can you help me? Yay! And before we begin, I want you guys to think of the meaning of heavy and light. Heavy and light. What does heavy mean? That's right! Heavy means when something weighs a lot. It'll feel like it's pushing down on you. It'll feel heavy. What does light mean? That's right! Light means something that's the opposite of heavy. It doesn't feel like it's pushing down on you or putting weight onto you. It's really easy to hold or to carry. Sometimes it might even float on its own in the wind because it's so light. Can you guys think of things that are heavy and light that you have? Good job! I'm gonna show you things that I have and you're gonna help me figure out if they're heavy or light. So here we have a tissue box. Tissue box. Do you guys think it's heavy or it's light? Tissue box. That's right! It is light. It's very easy to hold and I can throw it around and toss it back and forth. See, the tissues themselves are very light and airy. They're easy to hold. They're kind of thin too, so they don't weigh very much because there's not much there. So this is an example of something that is light. You guys are right. Next thing I have is the stone. It's a lot smaller than the tissue box, but what do you guys think? Is it heavy or light? Do you think it's heavier or lighter than the tissue box? The stone. You're right, it is heavier. Even though it's smaller, this feels heavier because it's made out of something that is heavier than paper, than the tissue. Or it's pressing down on my hand when I hold it, so it's heavier. Good job. The next thing I have is this really fun boa feather scarf. I love this. My friend gave it to me a while ago. So what do you guys think? This is made out of feathers. Do you guys think this is light? or heavy. It's a bit bigger than the stone, but what do you guys think? Light or heavy? You're right! Just because it's bigger than the stone doesn't mean it's heavier than the stone. It's actually quite light. And I can easily move it around and the feathers are floating in the air, do you see? Because they're so light. The last item I have is this cloth. It's quite big, you'll guys see. And it's made out of a lot of different things. But what do you guys think? Do you guys think that this is heavy or light? This cloth. You're right, it is heavy. You can see me struggling to hold it up because it's so heavy. What makes it heavy is it's made out of this weird material here. It's kind of stone-like, so that makes it a bit heavy. The metal on it makes it a bit heavy. So you see certain materials that are heavy by themselves when combined make heavy things, especially when you use this much stone. Like for example, I would say that this clock is heavier than this stone because there's more of this heavy stone in the clock. So this clock is heavy. Thanks guys, you really helped me out. Now we're gonna play another game. We're gonna guess if these animals weigh more than you. So here are some important things to know. 
babies when they're born usually weigh somewhere between five to seven pounds. But you guys aren't babies anymore. You've gotten a lot bigger, so you weigh a bit more. You probably weigh around 30 to 40 pounds. You're really big. Some of these animals might weigh more than you or less than you. We're gonna find out and you're gonna help me and we're gonna guess. So let's get started with this elephant. Woohoo! How much do you think an elephant weighs? Those are some good guesses. Do you think do you think the elephant weighs more than you? Do you think it's heavier than you? Do you think it weighs less than you? Do you think it's lighter? What do you think? Well, drum roll please. The elephant is actually heavier than you. It's actually heavier than a lot of people. It weighs a lot of pounds. It can weigh anywhere from 6,000 pounds to 13,000 pounds. That is a lot. So I would say that the elephant is definitely heavier than you and me and a lot of people I know. So now we're gonna look at this mouse. Do you think it's heavier than you? Do you think it weighs more than you? Do you think it's lighter than you? Do you think it weighs less than you? You're right, the mouse is lighter than you. The mouse can sometimes weigh less than a pound. It weighs less than one pound. So yeah, it is lighter than you and it weighs less than you. Good job. So we're gonna look at our last animal now and our last animal is this cute little puppy. And this puppy, this puppy is definitely bigger than the mouse, but it's not as big as an elephant. But how much do you think it weighs? Let's, let's find out, let's find out. What, what do you guys think? Do you think the puppy is heavier than you? Do you think it's lighter than you? Do you think it weighs more or less than you? Let's find out. <gasps> it weighs less than you. Most puppies in general weigh about four pounds, especially when they're this guy's age over here. And though that is definitely bigger than the mouse, this puppy weighs more than the mouse and is heavier than the mouse. It's definitely not as heavy as you or me. So I would say that the puppy is lighter. The puppy does not weigh as much as you or me. You guys did such a good job with guessing all the different weights of the animals and seeing whether they were heavier or lighter. And you also helped me so much with figuring out different things around my house were heavy or light. Thanks guys so much. I hope you had a great time learning about weights and measurements. I'll see you guys next week. Bye.